Hey there, I'm meteorologist Ryan Shoptal with another tropical update. It is currently Monday, June 19th, 2023. We now have Tropical Depression 3 that will likely become Tropical Storm Brett in the coming days. And then behind that is another tropical wave. That one is now designated Invest 93L. Before we get to that, we already saw Arlene earlier this season. Next name on the list is Brett, Cindy, Don, Emily. And then the last names on the list is Sean, Tammy, Vince, and Whitney for the 2023 slate of names. OK, to the Atlantic Ocean and the action out at sea. You can see here's Tropical Depression 3. Behind that, near the Cape Verde Islands, is Invest 93L. Now, for Tropical Depression 3, winds are at 35 miles an hour, moving west at 21, so it's fast moving, and then pressure's down to 1,009 millibar. But based on satellite presentation, you can kind of see the differences in structure, right? This one's more loosely organized, which is why it's just a tropical wave. It's just a cluster of rain, showers and thunderstorms that is trying to get its act together. And forecast models do believe and do think in the next coming days it will do so. Not much wind shear out there and the waters are very warm, which is sufficient for strengthening for a typical tropical system. But more importantly, Tropical Depression 3, a lot better on satellite infrared imagery. You can see on infrared, a lot of these cloud tops are starting to build, especially on that western side, which is showing signs of strengthening, which, by the way, the Hurricane Center thinks it's really going to strengthen by the time it makes it towards the Caribbean Sea, which would be about Saturday or Sunday later on this weekend. So here's the official forecast cone for Tropical Depression 3, likely to strengthen first to Tropical Storm Brett either Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on the movements and how fast or how slow it will strengthen. But the forecast does call for a Category 1 before it makes it to the Lester Antilly Islands near St. Lucia, crosses over by Friday morning, and then on approach to Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Hispaniola by about Saturday morning, if not Saturday night in the next coming days. So very active on the forecast in the Atlantic Basin, two particular systems, and one of which is now a tropical depression, which by the way, that is considered a cyclone. And here are the spaghetti models and the spaghetti plot. You can see most, the consensus of models, take it farther west across the Caribbean Sea. And yes, there are a few that make it towards Central America, near Belize and south of Cuba. So we'll have to watch it very closely because that's not out of the question. However, most of the models, you can see all these are in agreement that it's going to make a northerly turn, a northerly shift, probably by about Friday, Saturday or Sunday later on this weekend. So that's the consensus of model guidance. But again, there is that outside chance it drifts farther west. And that'll be when we have to watch it very closely as it could potentially near land southern Mexico and the United States. But right now, the basis of models say it moves farther north. And the reason for that is a large ridge of high pressure out north and one out west and then even one out near Africa. And you can see forecast models have it moving farther north based on the spin. But right now, as of Monday afternoon, the main steering currents at the surface and aloft are two ridges of high pressure, one over the Atlantic Basin and then one over Texas, which, by the way, is cranking up the heat for the south. Temperatures well above 100 degrees for San Antonio and much of Texas. But again, back to the tropics, a uh, very, very favorable environment for tropical weather. And you can see the temperature anomalies. Temperatures are warmer than average at the surface and even below for the ocean heat content. So any tropical system that enters this environment, it's really going to strengthen pretty quickly. But more importantly, here are the steering currents, right? So the ridge over Texas and northern Mexico, and then this one right here. So this one will be what, uh, the reason why it moves farther west towards the Caribbean Sea. But watch what happens as we fast forward into Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and then Friday night. Another ridge starts to really strengthen out near Africa in the Central Atlantic Ocean near the Cape Verde Islands. And what that does, it leaves a little bit of room right here. And remember, they spin clockwise. And what that will do is leave a little bit of space just north of San Juan and Puerto Rico to move farther north. So this will act as a shield based on what forecast models are telling us to move towards Florida. It'll act as a shield for that area. But again, it looks like based on what models are telling us right now and even the consensus of spaghetti pl plots and models, it'll likely make that northerly turn and drift farther towards Bermuda and the western Atlantic Ocean. So we'll have to watch it very closely, but it looks like that's how it's going to play out in the next five to seven days through the weekend. 
Now activity in the month of June. Historically, it's not the most active month. It's usually August and September. We see the most tropical storms and hurricanes that develop in the Atlantic Basin. For example, last year was only Alex, but 2021 we saw four named storms in the month of June in the Atlantic Ocean, and then back in 2020 it was just two. But remember, 2020 during the pandemic it was the most active season on record. We hit 30 named storms, and we actually resorted to the Greek alphabet because in this season we ran out of names. In the 2019 and 2018, uh, no named storms in the month of June. And if they do somehow make it towards and through the Caribbean and towards the Gulf of Mexico based on what you know data tells us uh, usually a ridge of high pressure helps it turn farther north and northeast. That's the typical track we usually see in the month of June if they make it through the Caribbean Sea and towards the Gulf of Mexico and near the Gulf Stream as well. OK, any questions? Feel free to contact me with these contact information, the Twitter, Instagram, Facebook page. Um, also our Kent's five social media pages as well or Kent's five dot com for the latest on weather tropics and anything you need to know coming up.